We've come to Redback Kate Farm Shop today and I'm going to get my couple of grandsons here, Bobby and our Brandon and their little cousin Billy and we're going to get them fitted out by uh, my good friend David Baines. Best man to come and see if you want anything fitting. David always advertised all the local grounds. There's the telephone numbers there. And uh, if you ever feel like taking up clay pigeon shooting, these are the people to get in touch with. It is a fraction, but you want a bit of room in it, you don't, any. Can I just say there is that two of these grandsons, they're like runner beans. You know, there'll be, be another six inch tall the next time I fetch him here. He he's, he's as nearly as big as me now. Uh, what do you think to that? You like that one, do you? What do you think no, it's not too bad, that is it, really? It is a bit big, but... Yeah, um, it'll grow into that, won't it? It will. Have you heard that joke about three eggs? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, thanks very much, mate. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, absolute you know that. pleasure. You're welcome. Yeah. You're always, I know you're always helping youngsters there. Uh, you're you're brilliant do. with we've kids. Got, we've you got got I think it's to get kids into involved in countryside sports is one of the finest things that can happen, you know, because it instills that discipline. It does keep them out of a bit of trouble. The number of you know. people that come in and say that, yeah. the number yeah. of people that say they go yeah. out to the night and they've got to really curb yeah. themselves, which is a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. I was just showing the, showing the grandkids, actually, it's, you know, some of the things you'd want. And I know you're a fantastic show because oh, no. even. Yeah, I know you're a DTL, but, but you always took some beating not sporting. No, no. I mean, I don't think I've ever beat not sporting. You're 70 odd year old. <laughs> but how long did you shoot for England team? Just I only shot one year. Did you? Yeah, you were one of the most no, no. natural one of the most natural shots I've ever met. Well, it's, you know. it's a bit of fun, isn't it, Dave? You've yeah. got to treat this from a light at you. Yeah. The people all get carried away with it. They're no good to me yeah. at all. You've got to enjoy it, haven't you? I think you've got to have a laugh, and I mean that's what I do. I said you've only got to, you've only got to be serious when you're when you're actually in that peg. Yeah, but you work you know? hard, like me. You work hard all week. Yeah. And so when when we go shooting, it's, yeah. it, it, it's relaxation, and it's that's what it's supposed to be. You just, yeah. Let go of everything, yeah. don't you, for the yeah. morning, and that's it. It's, it's important. Yeah. I can remember you giving me a little lesson a long time ago. I'd only just started, on today. I've only been shooting about a fortnight. What did I say to you? You said I'd uh, win some big titles one day. I did, and I yeah. said you'd shoot for England. No, yeah, you shoot did. for England, but Great Britain, I said. You, you. did, yeah. That was you the did. first lesson, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the first time yeah. we ever met, actually. And that was at Ruffer, it North was. of England. I'd only yeah. been shooting a fortnight free a week, and, and I, I was on the skeet range, actually, and I was missing these things. He's just come up and said, just point your tool that way a little bit and get your, make sure you've got your stance ready. And that was sage advice. And you can save a lot of money by, get, by coming to a, a chap like Dave and just... Uh, spending half an hour with him, because he's got plenty of old, good old advice, so haven't you, mate? They've got to plenty. Listen to them, Dave. You were a they've... good listener. Yeah. You were an yeah. excellent listener, yeah. and that makes a difference. Yeah. People come and because I don't charge, they don't listen. Yeah. Well, you don't charge because you you always like to help people. You've always been the but, same, you know. And uh, many a time I've come here and uh, I've come for a, a box of cartridges or something, and gone gone on with two bags of taties and a cauliflower, and because. <laughs> He, he, he gives more away than what he sells. <laughs> now, thank you that for being a, a good hearted person, Dave. Oh, you're welcome. And it's, it's nice to see somebody oh, yeah. like you still helping youngsters along. And we respect that for shooting you. Yeah. Shot. Thank you. Keep it tight. Now, you know, look at it, don't let me see it. I suppose one of those four on there, wasn't it? No. no. It must have been. No, it won't. Are you sure? Yeah. What have you picked up then? <laughs> I don't believe that. What do you think of that then? Eh? It's like Dynamo, isn't it? <laughs> Dynamo Dave. <laughs> right, this is the uh, the little air rifle range. We've come to let the kids practice on it. Uh, Redbeck shooting supplies. So if you do actually fetch the, the children along to get them fitted up with our air rifle, 50 yard away, there's a little range that can come and practice on. Make sure everything fits them. And uh, no doubt Anthony or David will, will put them right anyway. Here we are training youngsters how to shoot air rifles, but Brandon's uh, fully qualified with one, and so is Bobby. But he's just learning a new rifle that uh, uh, his dad might be buying him anyway. It's a lovely rifle. Uh, and, um
Uh, Thanks very much, Dave. Oh, hey, what a, hey, what a nice way to introduce young well, kids into shooting, isn't it? it? it is, yeah. Little air rifle emporium. Yeah, as long as they're safe, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 spot on, isn't it? It is. You know, everything's out there. They can't they can't get unsafe, really, can no, they? It's, no, it's no, a control okay. area. Control Absolutely area. fantastic. It's Good. Great Thank what you. you do. Is that it, then, boys? And what have you got to say to Mr. Baines? Hey. Nice to, nice to meet you, Trevor. We're just yeah. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Hey. There's another, another old countryman here. It's, it's there. They, we're, we're, we're having a day out with countrymen today. Trevor's just showing me a few um, photos. Is, is this the, where you brought the record with these salmon? Yes. Yeah. That, that one were um, £17. Pound. That was 25 and a half. Yeah. And that one, I think, were 14. What river are we talking about? Uh, Ribble. Ribble? On the Ribble? Oh, the hell? oh, there's some good fishing at Ribble. Thanks very much for showing us them, oh, Trevor. Yeah. Pleasure. Oh, yeah, well pleasure done. meeting you, yeah. mate. Yeah. Uh, you can tell when they've been to Baines's. Hey, every time we come here, we always come. We always go back with something extra. What do you say to him? Thank for your you. hat. Thank you. Good lads. Uh, we're just leaving uh, Redbeck uh, shooting supplies. Been to see a good friend of mine, and uh, just on the outskirts of Wakefield. If you ever get a chance to visit it, he's, he's, a, he's a lovely fellow, he's David, and he'll try his best to make sure that you're looked after. I've had my grandkids there today and he's got them fitted up with a couple of suits. When little cousin Billy gets a little bit bigger, he's going to go back and get his suit fitted. Grandfella and a lovely family. <laughs>